where are you guys at now? Have you spoken after the show or is it like radio silence? I mean, um, I don't think we have any grudges against each other. I think, um, I think we both understand that like life just happens and sometimes things don't go your way. Right. Um, so I wouldn't say there's any bad feelings um, or grudges or, of course not. or hatred towards one another. I think, um, well, I hope you understand that I wish him all the best. And um, if at some point he was hurt, it wasn't my intention, you know? Because, okay. I mean, at the end of the day, I, you know, I had a feeling that it was, it was a game and there was a, a lot of playing in the game. And um, what, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Right. Um, yeah. I think I have just a couple of questions left. Um, oh, one question. The, what, what was the main reason why you and Tabang had that fight before you left? What was that really about? The, the you know, because we saw that day you guys were refusing to speak to each other. So what were you really upset about, you know? Um, so, um, <laughs> that night we had a great time right? and I felt like, I felt like at the time, honestly, I think it was just alcohol because oh, okay. when you really think about it, it wasn't, it wasn't anything major. I was just being dramatic about the situation and that was unfair on him, Shem, but um, yeah, I think it was just that, just alcohol and um, being dramatic. I definitely you know. love dramatic pussy though. Shout out to dramatic pussy. to be like that and um, yeah but I don't think it was anything major mm. and because like obviously um, I'm also just a bit stubborn when I realized that that was unnecessary it takes some time for me to be like okay that was unnecessary you know yeah mm -hmm. mm. yeah so glam team because I know when you come out I mean before you came on the show when you go through your page you saw that you did a lot of photo shoots you went to salons to get your hair done and all that. Have you, mm. now that you've come out, have you gotten like uh, your own personal glam team or you're just, you know, seeing how it goes, you know? Uh, um, that one is tricky because I'm working on a few things okay. and um, there's a lot that needs to be sorted out. Like there's a lot happening in my life. Like there's a lot happening. And um, I'm just trying to take it a day at a time, like I said, and just be smart about things. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't really have time to be going through certain things, you know? Right. Um, mm -hmm. That's why you would rather have people who help. So, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah I think, like, everything else, there's always work in progress. There's always uh, room for improvement. So I don't, I mean, I know people have a lot to say about that, but I'm just like, oh my goodness, it's really not that deep. Um, right. Something could be figured out that could change, you know? Um, and it's interesting how people care so much about looks and they want me to sell them dreams. Dreams. I was never that person in the house. Um, I live a comfortable life and I'm content with who I am. I don't really have to sell that so much on, on, on social media. Right. But I understand that they feel like it, it has to happen. And that's right. okay. We're going to work on it. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But um, everything great takes time. Yes. I do. Yeah. But by the and way, I'm trying really to build... your... No, go ahead. Go yeah. Ahead. Um, I'm not just trying to... You know, when, I, when, when it comes to this, I'm not just trying to... Um, like just take whatever I can at the time and uh, be like, let's go. Right. 
I'd like to build, I would like to build a very sustainable for the brand. And um, that's why I'm not trying to rush in things in terms of, because trust me, they are great um, glam team and uh, uh, squads like that, that are coming forward and stuff. But I really need to be sure about certain things what you want. I do. I can't just be like, yeah. okay, because I'm under pressure and this needs to happen. I'm just going to take it. No, 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 no. It's not going to be like that. And I, I, I think I'm very similar to, I, I feel like most of my fans are like me. I feel mm -hmm. like I have the same personality with most of my fans. And I think if that's the case, because um, those are the only people that really matters. Yes. Those are the only people when they say, we don't like it, we're not happy, it will change. But anyone else really comes last. Yeah. So uh, I've heard them, but I need them to understand that everything great takes time. We're going to get there slowly. But also we have to, re to be realistic, you know, very realistic. I just came out of the house and I have a whole new life that right. I didn't have before this. You know what I mean? So it's going to take some mistake and some learning to get to a certain point, but they have to be patient yeah. and be I agree. with me, just like how yeah. they are. But mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I really don't want to sell a dream, you know, something I'm mm. not or something that's like far-fetched. I don't want to be that person. I love that. That's great. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's what attracted a lot of people to you because they feel like you're authentic. So I think you should stick to that. Mm -hmm. And by the yeah. way, you look you look gorgeous. Yeah. You look gorgeous. So Thank I you. love the black hair. So everything. Just Thank you. 